I'm Maria Valdecera. After you found the data you need in one of the tables in data.census.gov, you may want to produce a visualization of that data. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through creating a map using a table you found in data.census.gov. My goal is to produce a map that shows the percent of females in poverty by census tract in Stone County, Missouri. I've already done my search using the advanced search in data.census.gov. If you need guidance on searching for tables in data.census.gov, please visit the tutorial found at the link below. Here is the list of tables that I received. The first table that comes up, S1701, poverty status in the past 12 months, is the table that we need. So I'm going to click on the table title to open it to the full view. This table uses the 2020 five-year ACS estimates. Looking through the table, I can locate the line of data that I need for females, and the percent below the poverty level is 23.3% for census tract 901.01 .01 in Stone County. I can also see that if I scroll over, I can view this line for all of the other census tracts. These are the estimates that I want to map. There are two ways to get to the map. The first way is to click on the map button located at the end of the ribbon right above the table. The other way is to click on the maps tab found near the top of the screen. Both take you to the same spot. The map automatically centers over Stone County. In the section above the map, we can see that we are using the 2020 ACS five-year estimates for this map. We can also see that the variable from table S1701 that is being used is the total number of people for whom poverty status is determined. Remember that we want to know the percent estimate for females below poverty. To switch to this, click on the variables button and then click on the chevron next to total population for whom poverty status is determined estimate. You can either scroll down the list to locate the variable you want or you can use the search bar right above the list to narrow it down. Let's enter sex into the search bar. You can see that it narrows the list down to just a few different options. Let's click on this last one for percent below poverty, population for whom poverty status is determined, sex, female, estimate. When I click this, the map updates with the percent estimates for females below poverty. You can see that the legend is updated as well. To find out what the other buttons found in the ribbon above the map do, please see our explanation of mapping buttons video found at the link below. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you.